Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Future Multiverse here. As I'm editing this video, I thought I could give you a warning. You will see things in this video that you will never be able to unsee ever again. You have been warned. So today, we are going to open some time capsules. So you can see we have 12 of each time capsule that come from the Mega Capsule. Uh, basically, I opened uh, a bunch of Mega Capsule. I was trying to get uh, the back pieces, the, the flame capes. In order to be able to make my flame cape video, and it was an epic fail, uh, I pretty much had to buy them from the broker in the end. But uh, I still ended up with 12 of each time capsule. So let us start with the Atlantean time capsule. So let's get this party started. So the Orion Emblem, Primeval uh, Shell Box, or the Red Tide Temple. Mm, decisions, decisions. I want in doubt you can take a look at the broker to make a decision. If for some reason you don't really have anything you want or anything really of value, uh, often you guys would ask me how can we get quarks? Uh, this would be one way. You can choose the 10 quarks as a reward as opposed to some of the items you have here. So let's do that right now. And also, uh, some people were asking how many time capsules do you have to open to get X amount of quarks. It depends. There is a random in the amount of quarks you get. Like you can see here, we got 37 quarks and the 10 additional quarks we selected. And we even got a source marks. Ah, oh, that's nice. And let us continue. So the protective emblem, tangled fish line, primeval belt. Ah, oh, let's go for the quarks again. So here you can see we got 13 quarks. Uh, sadly, more often than not, you barely get more 10 or 13, maybe 17. Once in a blue moon, you'll get like 100, but it's a really rare thing. Now let's go for the Anand's Belt. Ah, the Anand's Chest Piece, let's go for that. Now well, let's go for the Anand's Emblem. Uh, the Primeval Blade is a popular item. Uh, let's go for that. Although this is the regular version, um, I don't think we're going to be able to sell it for a lot on a broker, but yeah, you never know. So let's go for that. Well, let's go for the Gorgon Eye, because why not? We have to keep at least some items to be able to sell on the broker. Oh, I thought I got the Enhanced uh, Sword. I actually got the regular sword twice. Ah, my bad. Uh, let's go for the Enhanced uh, Shoulders. Uh, the Emblem would be tempting, but uh, let's go for the Shoulders. Uh, let's go for the 10 Quarks. Oh, let's go for the collection in this case. Uh, the quarks. Oh, and we're done with the Atlantean time capsule. So let's move on to the Shazam time capsule. So you can see some of the rare items like the Power of Zeus or the Cloaks of Eternity. I already made a video about those, but this is where you can get some of those uh, rare items. Right, let's go for the Anand's Belt. I love the Shazam style, so worst comes to worst, I can give the belt to one of my character. Ah, I hate those emblems. Right, let's go for the Quarks. Right, let's go for the emblem. Oh, the cape. The cape is a good choice. Again, even if it's not worth all that much, I can give it to one of my... Uh, I have a lot of alternate characters. Very often, some of you guys see all that good stuff and you ask me to give it to you. I sadly have 50 characters, so I have, I have to give that stuff for my alternate characters. Now let's go for the collection. So I didn't really pay attention, but you saw we got like 17 quarks. So normally we get... Uh, 
pretty much close to the minimum of the minimum. Ah, uh, let's go for the Tony Emblem. I don't think it's worth that much, but uh, I can like that Emblem. Uh, let's go for the Collection. Uh, right now, seeing how a lot of people are properly opening uh, those time capsules. Uh, the, the items uh, from the time capsules probably dropped down in value. Uh, it's sad, but that's usually what happens. When the supply goes up, uh, it, it drives the prices down. Uh, let's go for the bracers. Uh, let's go for the belt again. Again, I have a lot of characters, so I can't have uh, too many Shazam belts. Oh, let's go for the Quarks. So that was for the Shazam time capsule. So let's move on to the 6th Dimension Kryptonian time capsule. Uh, it's the latest time capsule we just had, but uh, sadly it, it gets included. Uh, normally it's the last 9 time capsule we had, and uh, this is one of them. Uh, the rare items here, the, actually I still don't have the dimensional uh, chromo pack, so if we're lucky, maybe we'll get it here. Uh, for the Super Rebuilder's Jacket, I sadly I had to buy it from a broker. I had no choice. Oh, the NN says Odd Emblem. Uh, the collection is probably worth more, but uh, I need the emblem for a couple of characters, so let's go for that. Decisions, decisions. Uh, let's go for the the hand style. I'll give it to one of my characters. Uh, again, the leg style. Oh, and we got some uh, stabilizer fragments. Uh, the six dimension uh, creatures guard. Ah, uh, the Superboy collection would be tempting. Uh, these, uh, at least the rare ones, are somewhat expensive on the broker. Uh, let's take a quick look. Nah, 1 million. Uh, may as well go for the style. So let's take the 6 Dimension Kryptonian Chess Guard. I have a couple of characters that could use that. Oh. Uh, sadly, if you get out of the menu, uh, you get stuck here having to go back to your uh, loot picker. So I'll have to... Nah, let's go for the, uh, the shoulder pads. And instead of clicking open next, let's go back to our inventory. Otherwise, we'll always have to go back to the grant an item menu. So let's uh, let's do it from here instead. Uh, the NN South of Vok. Oh yeah, let's go for that. Uh, let's go for the legs. The Rao emblem would be tempting, but uh, let's go for the belt instead. Ah, uh, the chest guard, uh, the chest piece. Ah, uh, let's go for the boots. Oh. I guess we got uh, we got lucky, so let's go for the collection, obviously. And here, uh, let's go for the NN's the nuclear man. I love this emblem. So we got a bit lucky. We got the Superboy's uh, Poke Bowl. Uh, you can see right now it's worth uh, 630 million on the broker. And uh, way back when, I had to buy it for a hundred. 930 or 960 million, I forget. But I, basically, I, I, it would, it did not drop from the time capsule I opened way back when. So I had to buy the bullet and I had to buy it uh, on the broker and I had to play the broker quite a bit in order to be able to, uh, to get it. Sadly, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it. Uh, I may decide to give the jacket uh, to another one of my character. Um, I'll have to give it some thoughts. And next we have the Knights of Vengeance uh, time capsule. Now well, let's go for the call. Well, let's go for the gloves. Well, 
one is good for the collection. Uh, the collection again. Uh, once more for the collection. Uh, let's go for the Deathstroke Emblem. Uh, the collection. Let's go for the collection again. Oh, let's go for the boots. The boots again. Oh, let's go for the gloves. Let's go for the emblem this time. And next we have the Teen Titan Stump Capsule. In this case, the Smoke Rumor Pack is pretty much the best item in the bunch. Although the Spiral Operative is a, is a pretty cool item as well. So let's get started. Uh, let's go for the collection. Uh, let's go for the quarks. Quarks. Uh, I hate those emblems, but let's see if we can maybe sell it on the broker. Uh, let's go for the Raven chest. Oh, the chest again. Oh, let's go for the Terra Petrock. It's not that valuable from the broker, from what I recall, but uh, a buck is a buck. Uh, let's see if people want the Nightwing Emblem on the broker. Oh, that's, that was weird. Uh, let's go for the collection. Let's go for the collection. The collection. Oh, let's go for the quarks. Oh, and uh, this is it. And now let us open the Flashpoint Time Capsule. Here the rare item is the Madness Aura. There's also the Madness uh, Chroma Collection. Oh, the Lost of Truth is a popular item. Or the Flash Cowl. Almost forgot about the Flash Cowl. So let's get started. Oh, uh, we have to go for the Flashpoint Batman Emblem. We have to. We have no choice. Uh, let's go for the Cyborg Emblem. Let's go for the collection. Oh, let's try the Enhanced Aquaman Emblem. Maybe we can buy a sell that on a broker. Oh, let's go for Subject Zero. Oh, let's go for the shoulders. Oh, the recording I've been through press conference. Well, let's go for that. Well, let's go for the Enhanced uh, Conqueror Burstplate. It's a really nice looking style. Well, let's go for the Flashpoint Joker Emblem. Let's go for the belt. Oh, 
Let's go for the gloves. Oh, let's go for the emblem again. And now let's open the Oracle Time Capsule. Uh, the valuable item here is the Harley Quinn Promo Pack. Although the Avatar of Peace Mask uh, and the Avatar of War Cape were pretty popular. The Avatar of War Cape was uh, worth a fortune way back when. Uh, let's see if we can get lucky. So this is for the Avatar of Peace uh, Mask. Uh, let's go for that. Uh, let's go for the Enhanced uh, Oracle Emblem. I seem to recall it was a popular emblem, so it might still be valuable. So let's go for the collection. Uh, let's go for the collection. Uh, let's go for the collection. The back piece would have been tempting, but uh, uh, the collection was more tempting, I guess. Uh, let's try the enhanced uh, Misfit Emblem. Uh, let's go for the collection. I don't really like the, the style, so... It won't take much for me to decide to take anything else but the style. Oh, uh, the Black Canary Emblem was a nice one. Although this is the regular version, probably not worth all that much, but uh, still, I'm sure I can find a character that can use it. Uh, let's go for the collection. Oh, and we got the three st stabilizer fragments. Uh, that's nice. Uh, let's go for the collection. Uh, let's go for the emblem. And one last time for the collection. And next let us go for the Dark Knight's uh, Time Capsule. Here are the, the rare items with Lamo or card accessory. The ink material is somewhat popular. Uh, let's see what we can get. Uh, let's go for the enhanced boots. Uh, the aura would be tempting. Yeah, let's go for the aura. Oh, the green mystic aura or the powered ink. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Uh, let's go for the aura. So here we get a choice of 30 quarks. Uh, sometimes, again, very often when people ask me about uh, how many time capsules you have to open to be able to get the X amount of quarks, it depends. Like here, we have the option to be able to get the 30 extra quarks. Uh, and I have to admit, I'm very tempted. Oh, let's go for that. Again, 30 quarks or the suit for the strongest ink. Uh, let's go for the quarks. I need quarks. We all do. Uh, here, let's go for the, uh, the... The aura would be tempting, but let's go for the jacket. Oh, then let's go for the aura this time. Oh, again, the blue energy vortex aura. Uh, let's go for that. Uh, here again, neither the compass or the 30 quarks. Uh, let's go for the quarks. Uh, let's go for the aura. Uh, in this case, we'll go for the gum Arabic. Yeah, we have to. Uh, we need a few items to sell. And here we have the pink ultimate aura, but it, it is for the feet. A single spark. Uh, let's go for the single spark. Oh, there we go. 
Not sure why it didn't work right away. Uh, it happens. There's a bit of lag in the menu today, sadly. And last but not least, the Dark Multiverse Time Capsule. Here, the valuable item is the black and white uh, Neon Chroma Pack. That was really, really popular, especially the black one. Uh, the th Thunderstorm Aura was somewhat popular. And the Thundergrass Champion Helmet, uh, that was a good one as well. And of course, the Starfield Window. Like when you open 15 of those Time Capsule, you get the Starfield Window by mail, which is nice, a nice uh, base item. So let's get this party started. Uh, let's go for the course of gas. Oh, and we got the black and white uh, neon chromo pack. Uh, basically, you don't have to choose the black and white neon chromo pack. It pretty much comes at random if you're lucky enough to be able to get it. That's the case for a lot of those uh, rare rewards. I have to admit, I did not get a lot of those uh, rare rewards uh, through the years. But uh, here I get one, so I'll take it. I can't explain why I've been especially lucky with those uh, Dark Multiverse Time Capsule. It might be a sign or something. Now let's go for the negative uh, charges. Now let's go for the Eye of Horus. Now let's go for the Enhanced uh, Bear Totem. Oh, and uh, three Stabilizer Fragments. Let's go for the enhanced uh, bat total. I'll go for the ten quarks this time. Ten quarks again. Uh, let's go for the dragon hawk emblem. I don't recall it being very popular, but I uh, will see. Uh, let's go for the 10 quarks. Uh, let's go for the bad total on emblem. And the enhanced uh, smiling emblem. I already have it for my Joker character, but I guess I could give it to my Harlequin. And uh, let's end with the 10 quarks. So for the black and white neon chromo pack, uh, sadly at this point, it's not really available on the broker. Uh, you can probably only get it from the trade chat for about over a billion dollars. So right now, if I was to put it on the broker for like uh, almost a billion dollar, it would probably sell uh, pretty quickly. So I'm not sure if I'll do that or if I'll, I'll try to sell it on the trade chat. Um, I'll have to give it some thoughts. So there you go guys, so we've opened all the time capsule we got from the Mega Capsule uh, this time. Oh yeah, before I forget, if you have your Surgeon's Mega Capsule that you know you're not going to open, don't delete them, just sell them on your vendor. You're going to get $175 each. Yeah, it's not that big a deal, but uh, it's better than deleting them. So there you go guys, we've opened a whole bunch of uh, time capsules. And I have to admit, we got uh, quite a bit lucky, so can't really complain. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to open any more Mega Capsule. I might open a few more uh, with Stabilizers as we get uh, more Stabilizers. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So for those of you wondering, the Mega Capsule will drop in-game until October 9th, 2021. Also, you, can, you will be able to purchase them still on the Marketplace until October 9th, 2021. After that, they will be sadly gone from the game. Although, you will still have those that will be on your inventory, like those that drop in the game will remain in your inventory for about 14 days. So technically you have about 14 days after October 9th to finish opening your Mega Capsules.